Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, three identical quarter circles fully inscribed in a square A, B, C, D. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, square A, B, C, D is uh, 12 uh, centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, square ABCD whose area is uh, 12. And now we are interested in calculating uh, these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, square across the board. Therefore, let's recall the area of a square formula. Area equals to S square where S uh, represents the side length of the square and our area has been given to us as uh, 12 so I can write uh, s square equals to 12. Let's go ahead and uh, undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides and we can see that our uh, s uh, length uh, turns out to be and now if we simplify the square root of 12 as I did over here it turns out to be 2 times the uh, square root of 3. So the side length uh, turns out to be 2 times the uh, so square root of 3 centimeter. So therefore the side length uh, of this uh, square turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of 3. And that is same as the radius uh, of these uh, quarter circles. As you can see over here across the board the side lengths uh, are uh, same since we are dealing with the square. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, three quarter circles. This is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. And here's our next step. I have uh, connected uh, these vertices uh, A and B with this uh, point uh, A. And as a result, we got this uh, triangle uh, ABE. Now let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, ABE. This side length uh, AB is the radius uh, lowercase r of uh, this quarter circle. This side uh, AE is the radius lowercase r of this uh, another quarter circle. And finally this uh, side length uh, BE is a uh, radius lowercase r of uh, this uh, quarter circle. And we know that all these uh, quarter circles are identical so therefore uh, these uh, side lengths uh, are uh, same. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, ABE is an equilateral uh, triangle. And now let's recall the crucial fact angles of an equilateral uh, triangles are uh, 60 degrees uh, each. So no wonder all these uh, three angles uh, are going to be 60 degrees uh, each. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, shaded uh, segment uh, area this one let me call uh, this uh, shaded area as uh, x and now let's make an observation uh, we can see that uh, this uh, segment area x uh, is going to be equal to this uh, whole uh, sector area of uh, abe minus uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, abe as you can see in this uh, equation so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of the sector ABE and also the area of this uh, triangle ABE in order to calculate the area of this uh, segment X. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of the sector ABE and now let's recall the area of a sector formula area equals to theta divided by 360 times pi r square where r is the radius and in our case our radius is 2 times uh, square root of 3 and our angle uh, theta is uh, 60 degrees. So therefore let's go ahead and calculate the area of this sector AB. In our case our th angle theta is 60 degrees uh, divided by 360 degrees times uh, pi and then uh, times uh, radius in our case is uh, 2 times the uh, square root of uh, 3 whole square. And now we can see 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees uh, reduces to 1 uh, 
divided by 6 and we also know that the square of this uh, 2 times square root of 3 equals to 12. So therefore this is going to become simply 1 divided by 6 times pi times 12 and if we simplify everything that is going to be equal to 2 times pi. So thus the area of this sector ABE turns out to be 2 pi centimeter square. And in this uh, next step we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABE. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, A times B times uh, sine of angle C. As you can see in this uh, diagram we have got these uh, side lengths A and B and angle C is in between them. So therefore in our case uh, our angle is going to be 60 degrees and our side lengths are going to be 2 times square root of 3 and uh, 2 times square root of 3 as well. So therefore the area of this triangle ABE is going to become uh, a half uh, times uh, 2 times uh, square root of 3 times uh, 2 times uh, square root of 3 as well times uh, sine of uh, our angle uh, 60 degrees. And now we know that sine of uh, 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. And we also know that if we multiply these are two side lengths, two times square root of three times two times square root of three. That is going to give us simply 12. So therefore this is going to become one divided by two times 12 times square root of three divided by two. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us three times square root of three. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle ABE turns out to be 3 times square root of 3 centimeters square. And now let's recall this equation once again. Segment uh, area X is going to be equal to sector ABE area and this uh, triangle AB area as well. And I have already calculated uh, these areas uh, over here. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So the segment area X is going to be 2 pi minus uh, 3 times uh, square root of uh, 3. So thus the area of this uh, segment uh, x uh, turns out to be 2 pi minus uh, 3 times uh, square root of 3 centimeter square. And here's our next step. I have uh, connected this vertex A with this uh, point uh, F. And now let's focus on this uh, segment uh, area as well. And we can see that these uh, both areas are uh, identical because of the definition of uh, symmetry. So therefore if this area is x uh, then this uh, shaded area is going to be x uh, as well. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, remaining uh, sector AEF. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, whole uh, angle is uh, 60 degrees and uh, this is our 90 degrees. So therefore this uh, remaining angle is going to be our uh, 30 degrees uh, angle. And here's our next step. Uh, let's focus on this part. Uh, we know that this uh, angle is uh, 60 degrees and we know that this uh, whole angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore uh, this uh, remaining part uh, is going to be 30 degrees. And now we can see that this whole angle is uh, 90 degrees. This angle is 30 degrees. This angle is 30 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle in between them is going to be 30 degrees as well. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, sector AEF. And now let's recall once again the area of a sector formula. Area equal to theta divided by 360 degrees times pi r square. And in our case our angle theta is 30 degrees and our radius is 2 times square root of 3. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of this sector AEF by just filling in the blanks. Theta in our case is 30 degrees divided by 300 60 degrees times a pi and uh, in our case uh, radius uh, is a uh, 2 times uh, 
square root of 3 whole square. And now we can see 30 degrees divided by 360 degrees is going to reduce to 1 divided by 12. And likewise, uh, 2 times square root of 3 whole square is going to give us uh, 12. So therefore, this is going to become uh, 1 divided by 12 times uh, pi times uh, 12. And if we reduce everything, that is going to give us uh, pi. So this the area of this uh, sector AEF turns out to be pi centimeter square. And here's our final step. Uh, let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, yellow shaded uh, region area is going to be equal to 2 times uh, this uh, segment area X plus uh, this uh, sector AEF area as you can see in this uh, given equation. And here we have already figured out uh, this uh, segment area X over here and this sector AEF area over here as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. I can write this is equal to 2 times uh, this uh, segment uh, area X is uh, 2 pi minus uh, 3 times uh, square root of 3 plus uh, sector AEF area is simply pi. Now let's go ahead and distribute uh, this uh, 2. So this is going to give us uh, 4 pi minus 6 times uh, square root of 3 plus uh, pi. Let's combine these uh, like terms. So that is going to give us uh, 5 pi minus uh, 6 times uh, square root of uh, 3. So thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded region uh, turns out to be 5 pi minus uh, 6 times square root of 3 centimeter square and that is approximately equal to 5.32 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.